Ooh, ooh, yawn. <laughs> ah, God is good. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. The Bible said, let us make a joyous noise unto the Lord. Amen. That's what it's all about. So blessing once again for after church. I'm telling you, we thank God for his word. I'm telling you, we thank God most of all for his son after church. To God be the glory. Blessing to you all as you log back on for a few minutes. And uh, we thank God for the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. This is who we are. This is what we do. Let faith arise. Rest in the grace and arise in faith. To God be the glory. Blessing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so this is what after church is all about for those of you that are joining us for the first time um with our segment of after church is this is where we come to dig a little bit deeper in the word of god um discuss how to apply what we've heard and how to apply learning how to apply it to our everyday living um, we don't want to just be hearers of the word uh -huh. but we want to be doers of the word just Amen. as the scripture tells us to and uh, we're not here to uh, criticize the man or the woman of God who brings the word. And uh, we're not here to try to preach the word all over again. This is about Definitely study. Definitely not. Amen. It is after church. It, is, it says exactly, um, we do exactly what, this, this, um, what the topic says, after church. What do you do after church once you have heard the word? How do you apply the word? Are you asking questions? Uh, are you searching? Are you doing some soul searching? I mean, how do you learn how to apply the word to your life? Because we're, we don't, you know, it's, it's more to just being in the church. What do you, what are you doing with the word? You know, um, most time, me, myself, I'm speaking for myself personally um, after church is you know, a lot of time, you know, you beyond the pandemic, we would either come home, eat dinner or go out. Um, when we do get dinner cooked. <laughs> well, anyway, that's mm -hmm. another story. But um, yes, it is. It just just, you know, a lot of time we would. Whether we at a restaurant or whatever, we would talk, you know, the word over with the word. And you might have some people, man, that was a good word. That was a good, not just saying it was a good word, but we really got to um, let apply that word to what we've heard to go out and share the word of God. And that's what it, that's what it, it, it's all about. Um, you know, a lot of time we got other things on our agenda that, you know, while we're in the service, while we're hearing the word, we. So I got to go to this place. I got this going on. And but, you know, imagine this focusing on the word, because when we focus on the word and then after church, we, you know, things that we thought that was going to bombard us down or we couldn't get to what we need to get to. It just level right on out when we decide to put that word first. Amen. Yeah. And I know um, for me personally, you know, when ever I go to church, this is like, it's like a classroom for me. It's like school because I'm, I want to learn. Mm -hmm. I want to learn. I want to learn more of who God is. I want to learn more of his ways. And, you know, j the scripture tells us that he's, he's a great almighty God. He's yes. the great almighty God. Yes, he he's creator. He's redeemer. He's savior. He's deliverer. So we can never mm -hmm. know We'll, we'll never get to the place of knowing, um, knowing all. So I want to learn as much as I can when I have the opportunity to. Yes. So, um, like I said, it's like a class, it's like classroom. It's like a school for me. And, um, I don't care to do a lot of chit chat and I don't want a lot of conversations going on around me. Um, I tend to sit where I can take notes and, and, and gather my information and, once the once it's over, once we've um, 
been dismissed from the service, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, well, what, how does this apply to me? How does this apply to my life? How can I do better? How can I live better? How can I, um, be a better, be a better person overall, be better in my, my thinking. So this is where I begin to, um, look at myself. You know, when you think about it, um, because the classroom setting and is the same thing when we gather ourselves together to go into church, we go to receive, to learn. And as God speak to us, as the man or woman of God is bringing forth the word of God. And it's the same thing when you, we send our kids to school, they go there to learn. And uh, whether they have homework, say, mom, dad, I got this going on today. And it's the same thing, you know, after church, as far as the word of God that we've heard, you know, and that's when we should apply it some way, somehow, whether it's after church, whether it's the next day, sooner or later, you're going to need to apply that same word that was preached, that word that was teach, that word that you heard, whether it was today, yesterday, last week. And that's why it's good to hold on to the word of God. Amen. So pastor's topic today was uh, rest and grace and a rise in faith, right? And what, what scripture did you come from? Um, Hebrews 4, 1 and 2, and um, Ephesians. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Um, you know, that was a continuation part. The third part message was let faith arise. And I'm telling you, it's just, it's an awesome thing, you know, when we read the word of God the, and the word read us, <laughs> amen. So, you know, for me, how I learned to apply is ask questions. <laughs> I begin to ask questions. So, um, arising, you know, well, first of all, resting to rest in grace. Um, you know, resting in grace is, you know, is, is resting in Jesus Christ, resting in his word, resting in his promises. And that doesn't mean just literally, uh, you know, when we think of rest, maybe the first thing we may think of is laying in your bed, uh -huh. laying in your bed. Why so, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but it doesn't literally mean just to lay there and do nothing. Gotcha. It doesn't mean we're not doing anything, but when we're resting in his grace, we're resting in his, um, we're at peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're at peace and we're not, we're not battling with a work that has already been done. Amen. That's good. We're not fighting with something that he's already done for Amen. us. Amen. That he did, that Jesus Christ did upon the cross. Yes. Um, it's a finished work. So it is. there's no battle. There's no back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. With that, we're just, we're okay with mm -hmm. what he did. We're yes. settled. Our our mind, our spirit, and our mm -hmm. soul is settled in what Jesus Christ has done. So that, for me, that's what resting in um, in His grace is. So it's resting in what Jesus has done, and um, through you know by the by the grace of God, um, this is what has already been done. So that that's a finished work. No one can't take it from me. No one else can give it to me. Yes. There's nothing that I can do to earn it. It's given to me because I have surrendered my life unto Jesus Christ. I've received his salvation. So it is mine. It belongs to me. It rightfully belongs to me as a believer, as a child of God. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Wow. You, you were getting ready to say something else? but. No, I, I, you, you good. I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking, not thinking, but because even, you know, sometime when I'm doing preparation, as far as the message that God want me to bring forth to the people of God, uh, whether it's on Sunday, whether it's on Wednesday, and a lot of time, if it don't happen right then and there, and and you know, God is telling me He, the Holy Spirit said, just rest, son. Rest in my grace. I got this. I just need you to do what Second Timothy 2 and 15 says. Study to show thyself approved unto God. For a workman need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because we can't force the word to come. 
We can't make it happen, but we got to wait on the Holy Spirit to give us what God wants for the people. Amen. And, and, I'm, and I'm thankful for that when the Holy Spirit said, just rest, rest in my grace, rest in, in a rise in faith. I got this. And, and he have it every time, every time, because we, we can't fight it. We can't say, okay, God, what do you want me to share? What do you want me to talk about? What do you want? And the God is saying, settle down. <coughs> there's, there's 66 books, <laughs> not only 66 book, but a lot of time is mainly uh, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes is the thing that we experience in life, the thing that we go through during the week. God will allow some of that same experience that you and I went through, whether it's throughout the week, whether it's months ago or whatever, he'll bring it back. And that's what I love about the Holy Spirit. That's what grace does. This rest, as we rest in his grace, faiths that arise. Now, this is what I want you to share the pe- with the people of God. And I'm I'm just thankful for the Holy Spirit and his message. You know that? Mm. So, again, <laughs> yeah, we don't have to... Th- It takes the worry Mm -hmm. when we're resting in his grace and Jesus grace. It takes the worry out of our lives. Um, But it doesn't mean that we won't worry. But when the worry, that spirit of worry tries to come into our lives, we can remember, wait a minute. I don't have to do this. Yes. The Holy Spirit. See, this is where the Holy Spirit comes in and remind us. Of the, of, 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 of the promises mm-hmm. of the word of God. The Holy Spirit reminds us of who we are. And more importantly, yes. it reminds us of who God is. Amen. Of who our father is and who our God is, who our Lord is. Yes. And then we can rest in it. And it takes all of the, the anxieties mm-hmm. out of our lives. Anxiety, does. stress, and, and worry, and fear. Yes. When we rest in his grace when we rest when we settle down amen stand still amen and see the salvation of and see the salvation of the lord but to stand still and know that he is god amen amen when we're resting in his grace wow you know i i, I, I as you were saying that and not only just saying that i was listening to what the holy spirit was saying to me a few minutes ago in these next couple minutes that we have left you know, a lot of times, and I've heard it in conversation with individuals saying, well, yeah, I got to work. I got to do this. And I, I got to put in these hours. If I don't put in these hours, these bills roll around like this and the bill roll around. So they, they're more worrisome than doing this, than really resting and giving to God your time, talent, give possession, money, giving God time, giving God his t- the time that belongs to God. And why am I going there? Because you can't beat God given. God makes it happen. God is the source. Your job and other connection, those are the resource. Without God, the source, there won't be no resource. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's just like, yes, an example. It's just like the power, the outlet. Okay. That is the the power, and I and I, I I preach the message, and some of you probably know this. You know, we we gotta stay plugged in. You can take the lamp and put it by that outlet all you want. You can keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, but if it's not plugged into the outlet, the source, that's power that's coming out that outlet, you ain't gonna get nothing. It's the same thing with God. We must stay connected to the source. So the resource can come and find us. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the resource can come and find us. The blessing will what? Overtake thee. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about. <clears throat> the more we stay connected to the source, resource coming to you. Resource will find you. Resource is at your house right now. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Glory. Hallelujah. So in the other half of the topic, um, just let me say that you know talk about applying the arise in faith mm. so when he said uh, rest in grace and arise in faith when we arise in faith we begin to because we're settled mm. 
in 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 our promises mm -hmm. that are given to us that are rightfully ours mm -hmm. once we're settled in that then we can arise in faith yes. because yes we're not letting fear hold us back. Mm -hmm. We can move by faith. Um, and when we're moving by faith, again, it's, it's not just speaking a word, yes. but it's doing. You have corresponding action wow. to what you believe in. When you arise in faith, you begin to, you move. Hmm. Even, even if the fear tries to come about, fear will come hmm. fear will come we're not exempt from fear but once we're settled in and we rest in in our minds and in our hearts yes. of the promises that God has given to us that are rightfully ours then we can have that corresponding action to what we believe faith Amen. we can move by faith hmm. because we not only believe it, but then we, our hearts have to move. We have to move because that it, you can say it, but look, um, what is it? The scripture says that um, faith without works is dead. Amen. You have to move. And because you're settled and you are resting in his promises, you can move by faith. Because you, and again, my, my example I always go to, if we say that we, we're believing in God to be our provider, it doesn't, even when the money is lacking, when the money is acting funny, we're not going to stop tithing because of the, what, what the, the, money, the way the money is looking. That's good. We're still going to have that corresponding action yes. to, um, to, to, to move by what the word says. Wow. And when the word says that we are to tithe, we continue to give. Um, we continue to be a cheerful giver, mm -hmm. not a fearful giver. Wow, that's good. Not a fearful giver. Cheerful and not we fearful. Begin to, we are cheerful. We're not afraid to give just because our money looks strange and is acting funny. Wow. So we continue to tithe. When we tithe, that, that tells that money, you, you're going to, you're going to live by faith. You're going to work by faith. You're going to multiply by faith. So. Wow. Cheerful giving and a not fearful giver. Well, blessing. And we thank God for his grace and we thank God for his mercy. We pray that you've been blessed by the word of God and um, enjoy the rest of your week. And knowing that this is a blessed week coming up, knowing that God has blessing, blessing, blessing for you. Amen. Mm hmm. So, again, thank you for joining us uh, for our segment of After Church. Again, um, as always, please stay safe. Uh, the numbers are increasing with, you know, uh, COVID infections. So, please wear your mask. Practice social distancing. Whether you, whether you have been vaccinated or not, when you are in closed doors um, or a, a large gathering, if you can't, um, seem to, if you don't have a choice and then you are in a large gathering, please wear your mask. Um, we're, it's needed at this time. But look, mm -hmm. we have to, it's up to us to protect those, to help do our part in protecting those that can't be vaccinated, um, especially our young children, those that are 12 and under, I think it's what, 12 and under that can't be vaccinated. So please, um, Let's do our parts as, as responsible adults. Wear your mask, especially around our young children, um, especially around our babies. Please wear your mask when you can. Practice your social distancing and um, continue to wash your hands. Um, continue to use that hand sanitizer and do your part. Let's do our part and get this thing out of the way. So to God be the glory. Um, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Enjoy the week. And we will see you back here on uh, Sunday. Amen. We'll see you back on Sunday because we will not have Bible study this Wednesday. Okay. So God bless you. And Amen. we love you. Love you.